Hey everybody, hope you're having a great day. Today we're going to be learning a version of Mary Did You Know? And if you're looking to add some instant magic, I added a picking pattern as well as some strumming to add some variation. Let's get started. So the first measure is actually a pickup measure and it's the melody line. So it's the second fret of the D string, fourth fret, and then open G string, second fret of the G string. And so how I'm plucking that or picking that, it's going to be down, up, down, up. I'm gonna be using some alternate picking. Down, up, down, up. You could just pluck down if you wanted to, but this is gonna really make things smoother with your alternate picking. Down, up, down, up. Do you hear that Mary did you? And now we have an E minor, D, C, and a B7. Now the wonderful thing about this is that the picking revolves around your chords. So if you hold your chording hand in the chord, you let your pick do all of the work and you just add some instant magic. So I'm gonna hold my E minor here with my left hand and I'm going to pluck the open E string and then I'm going to pluck the D string, the G string, then the D string, and then the B string. So we have one and two and three and four and. And now we have a D chord and you're going to see a little hammer on, a little H there. I'm gonna demonstrate that first. So adding that hammer on really adds a lot of twinkle <laughs> to it. So I'm going to hold my D chord. I'm going to pluck the D string, G string, B string, D string. Now from here, I'm going to pluck that E string and then my pinky is going to hammer on to the third fret of that E string, like that. Then I'm going to pluck the B string, release my pinky, second fret, third fret. So if you've never done a hammer on before, what happens is that that finger in this particular, this pinky is going to whoopsh, whoopsh, quickly hit the string and the sound doesn't actually come from the finger hitting the string. The sound comes from the string hitting the fret. So just keeping that in mind that if your finger is closer to the fret, you're probably going to have an easier time if you're having a hard time producing that tone. And you also have to think about the speed in which you're hammering on. If you're hammering on very gently, you're going to actually slowly dampen the string. Hear that? So you're going to want to get that timing down for that hammer on so that you can smoothly practice the riff. So you may just want to practice your hammer on first before adding the entire measure. Now we have the C chord. I'm going to pluck the A string, then G string, B string, G string, the E string, and now I find a B7 chord, and I'm going to strum strings one through five. You can either mute the string with the flat of your middle finger or your thumb, or just strum these five and avoid your sixth string. So this is what it's going to sound like. One and two and Mary did you. E minor, D chord and Then we have our C chord and B7, two, three, four. Now we have measures five through eight and you'll notice it's the exact same thing as we had done for measures one through four. We get to measure nine and it's did you know that your baby boy You'll see that the C chord it's the same as we had learned from the previous measures as well as the D and the E minor. You'll see the G and the G over F sharp is a little different and we will get to that. So let's find our C chord. We're going to use that same pattern that we had done before. A string, G string, B string, G string, E. And then we have our D with our hammer on. Now we have a G to a G over F sharp. I am going to find my G chord and I am going to pluck the E string, the D string, G string, back to that D string. 
And then I move my index finger on my chording hand to the second fret of the E string. I'm going to pluck the same strings as I had previously done for the G chord. And then this E minor should look very familiar. We have E string, D string, G string, D string, and then B string. Now we have an A minor. I'm going to pluck the open A string. And then I'm going to pluck the D string, B string, D string, B string. All right, and then we do that again. And then we have a B7, and we are going to hold that for eight counts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So we have, did you know, measure nine. Let's try that. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and D chord and two and now find your G chord now to the E minor A minor and again Seven, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now at measure 17, this is where I start strumming. And the strumming pattern that I'm using is down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. Okay. Now we have an E minor first. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, then to a D, a C and a B7, and then we will repeat that. Okay, so we're gonna be using the same chords as we had done for the picking pattern. Here we go. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. Your baby boy, see, give sight to B7 blind man. Mary, did you know D? Your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand. Now we get to measure 25. We have a C, D, G, G over F sharp, and an E minor. Or here, doesn't matter. You can use these two fingers, these two fingers. And then you're gonna see that the G and the G over F sharp, same chords that we used for the picking pattern. You'll see that the strumming pattern is a little different. We'll get to that. Here we go. So we have our C, down, up, down, up, up, you know, D. <clears throat> now we have down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, up, down, up. So you see it's going to be one, two, and three, four, and one, and two, and three. Now you see in the tablature for the G over F sharp, I have this A string muted. I'm just laying my index finger flat, a little flatter, so that the A string is muted, okay? If it ends up sounding, it's really not the end of the world <laughs> because it's gonna be so fast. All right, ready. Did you know, down, up, down, up, here we go, measure 25, here we go. And down, up, down, up, D. G. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. A minor, measure 29, same pattern. Down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. B7, strum it. Now strum and hold. The U. Instrumental. Same chords as we had done for the beginning of verse 2. E minor. Here we go. Mary, did you know? D. C, B7, oh Mary, did you know, D, now we have reached the bridge, and you're going to see that this is very similar to what we had previously done. So we have measure 37, we have C, D, G, 
G over F sharp E minor. Then we go to measure 41, C, D, G for a full measure, B7 for a full measure, and then we strum and hold. Here we go. The blind will see. Down, up, down, up. Here we go. The blind will see. D, G. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. C. The lame will lead. D, G. The praises of the Lamb. Oh. And then we go into the final verse, and that's going to be the same thing that we had done for verse 2. Nothing new. That rhymes. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. <laughs> but now we get to the ending. So we have A minor. Down, up, down, up. Here we go. This sleeping child you're holding. B7. Here's the great. Down, up, down, up. E minor. I am D. C, B7. E minor. Now you're going to see measure 70 through 74. Same thing as we did for the very, very beginning, measures 1 through 4. So we have our E minor picking, then our D, C chord, B7, E minor. Before we get into the play along, I'd like to thank Black Mountain Picks for sponsoring this video. So Cole McBride is a guitar teacher himself, and he is the one that invented this company with all of these amazing different tools for musicians because he's a musician himself and he thought it'd be really cool if, well, he's made that happen. One of those really cool inventions is this tri-sided astro pick. And you'll see that you have this red rounded edge. You can use it for picking, but you can also really dig into your strumming. Here we have the black side and that is the same thickness as this. It has a little point to it like a jazz pick. You can really dig into your notes for clarity when you're picking. And then here I just spin and then I have more of a flatter edge that has more give and it's perfect for strumming. So if you've ever tried to flat pick and strum and switch between the two, you kind of notice like, man, one feels comfortable and one doesn't. This takes all of the stress of trying to switch picks or just trying to get the perfect fit, perfect feel for what you would like to do because this really has it all. So I'm going to leave their link in the description box below. If you're interested, that link is not affiliated. But again, thank you so much to Black Mountain Picks for sponsoring this video. And the play along is next. Mary, did you know that your Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Mary, did you know that your
Hey, thank you so much for joining me today. If you are looking for some more lessons like this, I'm gonna leave that over here. And if you're looking for a place to start with your guitar journey, or you know somebody that's like, oh my goodness, I just wish everything was laid out for me from start to finish, and it would be leveled, and it has me as the beginner in mind, I got you. I have a guitar course that I made, and it is it's especially for you. It's the Beginner's Stress-Free Guide to the guitar. I'm going to leave that over here if you're interested, and I will see you in the next one. And remember, you are loved. Bye.